CRM for Outlook. One of the best features of Microsoft CRM is in its ability to interface with Microsoft Outlook so that you can work with CRM directly from within Microsoft Outlook itself. This not only gives you the ability to work from within a single application since you no longer need to have the web interface open, you can just use Outlook, but it also means that you can now send and reply to emails and have CRM track them. In fact, when we first installed Microsoft CRM 4, using Outlook to handle our email communication is the default configuration and it works well, but with one small gotcha that you need to be aware of. In order to use Outlook for our email, this means that we need to have Outlook open or our email won't be sent. So let me put it this way. Let's assume that I'm in Internet Explorer right now and I've fired up our CRM site and I currently don't have Outlook open. Then I've gone and opened up a customer record and I've chosen to email that customer from within the CRM web interface. Now straight after I click send, I close down my PC and I go off on vacation for a month. Well, remember, I need Outlook open on my computer for email to go out. So this means that since my PC is now shut down and Outlook isn't open on my computer, the email is going to sit there. It'll be held in a queue on the CRM server until I return a month later and open up Outlook. Only then will that email be sent. So this Outlook integration does work and it works great, but do keep in the back of your mind that emails will only go out when Outlook is open. However, Although it might sound like a big negative what I've just said, when you come to realize that you can manage pretty much anything you're ever going to need to do in CRM from within Outlook, it's kind of a mute point since it's highly likely that Outlook's going to be open anyway. Only when you as a user logs on to the web interface and tries to send email will it not work if Outlook isn't open as well. So it's not really a major thing, but it's something to be aware of nonetheless. But once you start working with CRM from within Outlook, you'll forget about the web interface pretty quickly and you'll stick to using Outlook. And trust me, that's exactly what your users will do. And that's also what Microsoft are expecting you to do since they're banking heavily on the fact that your users already understand and know how to use Outlook. And since CRM solutions aren't very popular with the ground floor users that are expected to use the product on a daily basis, Having it all integrated into a product that a lot of people use every day is a definite winner and when you show it to your current management team that just can't seem to understand why the user base won't use your current CRM product, they'll get it. In fact, Microsoft has built an entire CRM marketing campaign around the phrase, everybody gets it. And trust me, your company will too. All right, well, let's see how we can configure Microsoft Dynamics CRM for Outlook. So the very first thing we'll need to do is to create our user accounts in Active Directory and then create mailboxes for them. And of course, this is going to be used for CRM. So I'm on my Exchange server here and I'm using Exchange Server 2007 for my lab, but this will work the same for Exchange 2003. So on the left, I'm going to expand Recipient Configuration and we'll select Mailbox. Now in the Actions menu on the right, we're going to choose to create a new mailbox and this will start up the new mailbox wizard. Now this will be a user mailbox. So I'm going to leave the default setting here and we'll click next. And we can either create a new user or add a mailbox for an existing Active Directory domain user account. Now, in your case, you're probably going to already have this configured in your company. But since my installation of Exchange Server is a new one and I have already created some user accounts without Exchange mailboxes, I'm going to choose an existing user and we'll click browse. Now we'll select Bob and we'll click on OK and then we'll click next. Now I'm going to leave these other defaults as they are to put Bob's mailbox on this server in our first storage group and then we'll click next and then new. All right, well Bob's mailbox has been created so we'll click finish. All right, well, I've just switched over to a Vista client machine here and I've logged in using Bob's account. So let's fire up Microsoft Outlook. And since this is a new installation of Microsoft Office on this machine, we're going to be presented with the startup wizard. So we'll click next. 
Now the first thing we're going to have to do is configure an email account so we'll leave the default at yes here and click next again. Okay, well it's already populated the correct information here of bob at crmlab.com so we'll click next. All right, and now Outlook is configured to use Exchange so we'll click finish. All right, well now that we have Outlook installed and configured, we're probably at the point where you guys who are listening to this video are, you have your users already happily using email like Bob here can as well. So to integrate Outlook with CRM, we'll need to install the CRM for Outlook component. Now I've gone ahead and placed the CRM4 CD in my drive here since we'll install the required component locally on this machine, although it's more likely that in a corporate environment you'll want to deploy this component to your users computers using group policy, SMS, System Center Configuration Manager 2007 or via some other third party distribution tool. Now it's also worth knowing that in order to successfully install our CRM for Outlook component you will need to have an Outlook profile installed on the client machine that you want to install CRM for Outlook on. So this means you need to run Outlook at least once first so it can create a profile and the indexing service will also need to be running. Now apart from that, any other bits of software will be installed when we install the application. So we'll click on the Install Microsoft Dynamics CRM for Outlook link. And this will begin by copying some temporary installation files to the hard disk and then it will fire up the installation wizard. Alright, now we have two options here. We can either install the CRM for Outlook component for either online mode only or online and offline mode where users can still work locally with any previously synchronized data if your company, of course, condones that type of activity. Now, do note, though, that if you choose to use the offline mode, then this will require you to have a copy of SQL Server Express Edition installed on the client, and that, of course, is going to add a bit of overhead to the computer, so keep that in mind when making your decision as to what you want to install. So I'm going to choose an online installation, which is the default, and then we'll click Next. Then we'll need to accept the license agreement and click on the I accept button. Now there are a couple of components that will need to be installed in order for CRM for Outlook component to function properly. This is the application error reporting and visual C++ runtime components. So we'll click on the install button and these components will begin installing. And it should only take a few moments to install both of these components so we won't bother to pause the video here. All right, we're almost done and it's complete, so we'll click Next. Now the default path for our installation files will be in the program files slash Microsoft Dynamics CRM folder and that's fine by me. We'll click Next and we'll get a summary here of the installation requirements and since everything up here is showing green ticks, we're all good to go, so we'll click Next and then the installation will begin. Now this will take a few moments, so I will pause the video this time and we'll return in a moment. Okay, well the installation's complete, so now we can click close, and we're done. All right, now that CRM for Outlook is installed, we're gonna close down Outlook. Now we'll go and click on Start, select All Programs, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4, and we'll launch the Configuration Wizard, which as you'd expect, will start up a wizard here, so we'll click Next. Firstly, we'll need to specify how we want to connect to CRM, which will most likely be using the first option, My Company. So we'll leave the default there and we'll click Next. Now we'll need to enter in the URL for our CRM server. So I'll enter in CRM server, which is the name of my CRM server. And do note that we can also specify a different URL if we're connecting over the internet to our CRM server. All right, well, we'll click Next. And we can elect to be included in the Customer Experience Improvement Program with Microsoft and that'll allow us to send anonymous data to Microsoft about our CRM usage if we like. Now I won't bother here, we'll click Next. And then we'll get our summary of the system requirements and since everything is showing all green ticks here, we're right to proceed so we'll click Next and then the installation will begin. Now this installation doesn't take but a few seconds and you can see it's already finished so we'll click finish 
And now if we go and open up Microsoft Outlook, you'll notice up the top here in our toolbar, Outlook starting to communicate with our CRM server. And in a moment, once this synchronization is complete, we're gonna see a few new buttons available in Outlook that all relate to CRM. Okay, so at the top here in Outlook, you can see we've got a bunch of CRM buttons. We've got a new menu option here called CRM. And in our navigation pane over here on the left-hand side, you also see that we have a new folder called Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And if we expand this, you're gonna see a bunch of other subfolders that should look pretty familiar right now. That's right, these are all the various categories and things that we have inside CRM that have been brought right here into Outlook. So if we click through some of these folders here, in the middle, you'll note that we have pretty much anything that we can do from within CRM itself right here in Outlook. So as long as you have permission in CRM to do something, you can do it right here without having to leave Outlook at all. All right, now before we get further into looking at what sorts of things we can do with this CRM Outlook integration, let's quickly go and open up Internet Explorer and we're gonna to navigate to our CRM server. Now on the left here, we'll select activities and we'll choose to create a new email and we'll click on OK. Now since I don't have any real customers in our CRM implementation at the moment. We'll get to that in later videos. For now, we're just gonna send an email to ourselves. Well, here you can see that I'm logged on with Bob Jones's account. So the email is gonna be coming from Bob. So we'll send it to another user. So we'll click on our lookup icon here and we'll look up our users and we'll click on our lookup search here. Let's choose Bill. So we'll add him and then click okay. Now. In the body of the message here, we can write our email and I'm just going to say that this email is just a test for now. I'm not going to worry about any of these other fields. I'm just going to click send at the top here. All right. Well, our email appears to have gone or has it. Now, if we wait around for a moment, in fact, there you go. We've just received this balloon pop up message telling us that one or more emails are waiting to be sent from Outlook. Now, the problem is even though when we installed Microsoft CRM, the default is to use Outlook, and when we installed the CRM Outlook integration components, you'd think we'd be using Outlook. Well, yes, the configuration is to use Outlook by default, but no, it won't work unless we check a box in Outlook. But by the way, before we go ahead and do that, let's quickly come over here to the left and we'll click on settings, then we'll choose users, and let's take a look at Bob Jones's account since we're currently logged on with that one. So we'll double click on Bob. And down the bottom here, you'll notice that the default is to use CRM for Outlook for both incoming and outgoing mail. So if you were wondering, that's where it's configured from within CRM. All right, well, let's close this window and we'll minimize our Internet Explorer and we'll come back to Outlook and we'll go up to the top menu, our CRM menu, and we'll choose options. Now we'll click on the email tab. And this first checkbox right here at the top, this is the problem. Allow Microsoft Dynamics CRM to send email using CRM for Outlook. So what we'll need to do is check this box and then click on OK. And now email should be working fine. So now if we go back into CRM, and we'll click on the advanced find button here at the top. And from our lookup drop down box here, we're going to select email messages and then we'll click find. Now here you can see our email message to Bill from Bob has been tracked in CRM and we can of course open it, we could read it, we could forward it, print it, and even convert it to another activity if we like, including an opportunity or a lead, two things that we'll look at a bit later on in these series. All right, well, let's close these two windows here and we'll go back to Outlook and let's take a look at some of the other options that we have within Outlook. Now, this won't be an in-depth discussion since pretty much everything that you see here is the same as what you'll see within CRM 
from Internet Explorer. But it's worth having a look around regardless since you'll probably find that you and your users will most likely work from within Outlook anyway since it's the easiest way of getting your users to use CRM. I mean, everyone already knows how to use Outlook, right? So by having this tight integration, users don't have to log on to the web interface and that's really what makes this product so good, user acceptance. All right, so at the top, we've got this CRM button here, which just simply pops up an about CRM style window. Now we can start new activities from within Outlook, such as tasks, faxes, phone calls, appointments, and so forth. We can create new records, things like new contacts, leads, opportunities, and so on. Again, these are things that we can do from within CRM itself. Now in the meantime, I've gone ahead and sent Bob here an email from Bill, and this email exists outside CRM. Or in other words, this email was just sent directly to Bob from Bill using Exchange. And at this point, it has nothing to do with CRM at all. However, Bob can use the track in CRM feature to track something that we have in Outlook that isn't necessarily something that we yet have in CRM itself. So let's say I receive an email from someone that was given my name from a customer as a recommendation and they're contacting me personally to see if we can do business. Well, that's something that would be worth tracking in CRM. Rather than leaving the email in my mailbox only for me to lose amongst all of the other emails I receive, we can use a tracking feature to bring things into CRM, which is a great feature and it saves us from having to enter in everything manually. So if we open up this email, like any email, Bob can of course reply to it, he can forward it, delete it and so forth, but up the top here, we can also track it in CRM. So if we select the email, we can actually do it from here as well. If we select the email and choose track in CRM, this email will be imported into CRM so that we have a permanent record of it. Now, rather than going back to CRM here and trying to find this email in CRM, let's do it from within Outlook this time. So we'll click on the Advanced Find button. And in the Look For drop-down box here, we'll select Email Messages and we'll choose Find. Here we can see our message from Bill, from so Bill Jackson here to Bob Jones. It's now been tracked in CRM. And if this message is something that's truly worth capturing, we can come up here to the Convert Activity menu and then change this into an opportunity or a lead. Now the next button here, the Set Regarding button, allows us to attach an object that we have selected in Outlook, such as this email, to an object in CRM, such as a contact or a case or a quote or a lead and so forth. So if we highlight our email here and then click on the Set Regarding button, we could link this email message to any of these types of records. So let's choose one. Let's choose a contact. And since I don't have any contacts at this stage, we're just going to choose to create a new one. So let's give this guy a name of Joe and we'll give him a surname of Blogs. And I'm not going to bother for now filling in all the rest of the fields here in my lab. I'm just going to click on Save and Close. All right, now we'll select Joe from the list here. We'll click on OK. And now this email has been linked to Joe's record in CRM. So we could either use our search feature to find it or we could find it through the history of Joe's contact record. So let's find it the same way as before. We'll click on the Advanced Find button. Under our Look For drop-down box, we'll select Email Messages and then click Find. All right, well here we can see our email from Bill to Bob, of course, that's being tracked in CRM and the regarding field is now linked to Joe. Now, I did mention that the other way of finding out this information is to search the history for Joe. So let's close this window here. And again, we'll do this from Outlook since we're already here. In the left hand folder pane view, we'll expand Workplace. Then we'll expand Customers and we'll select contacts. Now over here on the right, we can see there's Joe, we'll double click on Joe. 
and on the left we'll select history and there's the email linked to Joe which again we can now double click on it we can open it up we can read it and do whatever we like to it now I should point out by the way let me just close these windows here first that if we just click on the regular old new button in Outlook and we've just got a standard email you will note that in our menu ribbon up the top here we've got this button here to track in CRM so even if you are sending a regular email but you think that this message might be worth tracking you can also do that from here so I'd certainly recommend that you guys play around with the CRM for Outlook component since at least in my opinion it's a lot easier to get your users involved with CRM because they'll already be using Outlook anyway and since users often don't like change they'll be pleased to know that Outlook can still be one of their most heavily used applications only now they can get involved with CRM from the same screen in this video we've seen how to install and configure Microsoft CRM for Outlook the most important thing you can take away from this video and communicate to your users is that email will only ever go out if Outlook is open so by encouraging them to use Microsoft CRM for Outlook or to at least have Outlook open on their computer if they do prefer to open up CRM from a web page then their emails will be going out just fine we hope you've enjoyed this video and would like to thank you for supporting Winstructor